The next learning objective, the fifth learning objective in this chapter will be regarding bond markets. Where do we buy a bond? Is there a bond store downtown in your hometown? Uh, or do we buy them somewhere else? Uh, essentially, the bonds are sold through an investment bank, like a Merrill Lynch, Goldman Sachs, UBS, and so on. Um, Kidder, Peabody, Fanter, Cantor, Fitzgerald. Uh, the bond market is the largest securities market in the world. Um, even larger than the New York Stock Exchange. It's done over the counter electronically. No particular physical location where buying and selling occurs. We are hooked up through a, an electronic network and we buy and sell bonds. Traders sell through this electronic uh, transaction network. Uh, not a very transparent market. In other words, uh, in the old days, we could open up a Wall Street Journal and look at all the stock listings. Uh, today, you can get right in and look at any um, stock listing in near real time. Um, level two quotes in a lot of cases uh, if you're an active trader, uh, but bonds not so. Uh, becoming more and more transparent, we can go to investinginbonds.com and find some prices. We can go to Trace, we can go to FINRA.org and see uh, prices on the most active issues. So it's becoming more and more transparent, not quite there yet. Uh, we have to learn how to read a bond, um, how are bonds reported. Uh, some, a small list of bonds of the most active bonds are listed in the Wall Street Journal every day. Uh, in this case, it's a Ford Motor Credit uh, Company bond, and this is uh, symbol F. Uh, the next listing would be the coupon rate. In this case, it says 7.000, and that is uh, 7%. Uh, the maturity on this Ford Motor Credit Company Bond is October 1st, 2013, so that means, again, it was probably issued around 1983. Um, last price, 102.767. What does that mean? How do I read that? I thought bonds were about $1,000. Well, uh, this is 102.767% of par, so we multiply that by 1,000 par value, and we get a price of 1027.67. Um, so that's how we read that column. Uh, the last yield was 6.6%. Current yield is calculated by taking the coupon divided by the closing price on the bond. Uh, estimated spread 217 basis points over the Treasury bond listed under UST. And that's known as the hot runner on the run Treasury issue for the same term uh, as your bond. If it's a 30-year bond, it would be the 30-year hot run bond. Uh, if it's a 10-year bond, it would be a 10-year uh, hot run bond at the U.S. Treasury listing. And the estimated volume for the, uh, the Ford Motor Credit bond, $629,917,000. Uh, so that uh, volume that's listed there is in uh, thousands of dollars. So be careful. It's not $629,000 of bonds, $629 million of Ford Motor Credit bonds issued in the day. Uh, current yield, some more terminology, as I said, current yield is bonds coupon div payment divided by closing price. Uh, bid price is what the dealer will pay you for a bond. Uh, bid and ask spread, the securities dealer will play the bid ask spread, and that's how they make their money. The ask price is what a dealer wants for a bond, so that's what you will have to pay should you want to buy a bond from a bond dealer. Uh, this is very similar to what happens in a bookstore that you're familiar with. You buy a textbook. And let's say you pay um, $100 for it, and at the end of the semester you sell it back and you may get $20 for it. Next semester the uh, book dealer will sell it on a secondary market for $80 and will get an $80, uh, $60 bid-ask spread. Um, so they paid you, let's say, $80. They gave you $20. I'm sorry, they paid you $20. They sold it, resold it for $80. And uh, they made $60, and that's the way the bond uh, dealers work on much tighter spreads, as you'll see. Uh, government bond re reporting is also listed uh, in the Wall Street Journal on, on a small number of issues. Uh, we have to be able to read these. These are reported in ticks, or 130 seconds of a percent. Uh, the coupon rate is 8%. Uh, in this case, so it says 8.000, that is a coupon rate of 8%. Uh, on this government bond, uh, looks like November 21st. No, it's November 2021 is the maturity date, so t uh, time to maturity. Uh, and this one, if it was issued, it's the 30-year bond, it would have been issued in uh, 1991, maturing in 2021. Uh, it's measured in ticks, so the bid price is 132.23 ticks. 132 and 23 30 seconds of uh, 
face value. So you multiply that by 1,000 and you get $1,327.1875. $1,327.19 is the bid price. And that's what the um, dealer will pay you if you have one to sell. Uh, the November 2021 8% government bonds. The uh, ask price, if you want to buy a bond, a bond off a dealer, in this case, a government bond, is 132 and 24 30 seconds or 24 ticks, uh, 24 30 seconds percent of face value. So they're selling it to you for 13.27 and 50 cents, and that dealer will pay that small bid ask spread as they sell millions and millions of dollars of these bonds. Uh, down 12 ticks on the day, or 12 30 seconds of uh, percent, or 0.375 percent of face value, and the yield to maturity is 5.14 percent, YTM. That is how we read government uh, bonds, a little bit different than corporate bonds, but uh, very, very manageable.